This drill we call the 2T drill. Uh, what we do is, uh, is we put two T's at home plate. Uh, we actually put, uh, put a third one down the left field line that you'll see here in a minute. Um, and half of our infielders will be hitting to the outfielders, uh, working on ground balls while they're hitting off a tee. And then half of our outfielders will be at home plate and they'll be hitting to the infielders. Uh, the first variation of this drill, you'll see pitchers behind each infielder uh, on a bucket where uh, the infielders are working technique, working their feet, working their hands, and not incorporating the throw. The second variation of this that you'll see is that you'll see them fungal, or you'll see them hitting off a tee to them, and you'll see them throwing across the infield, or you'll see them in double play depth, and we'll be working on double plays. Okay, what we have here again is we'll have we'll start with our, our outfielders and some of our catchers that don't play another position will be uh, hitting both to the infielders here and then we have a group down the left field line that will be hitting to the outfielders. Uh, a lot of ground balls in a short period of time. Uh, we put a pitcher on the mound. Every ground ball that's hit to the first baseman, they'll work on covering. Uh, to me, this is there, there's two ways we do this. Um, the first you'll see is the T. The second you'll see is what we call position players fungoing, which they'll actually toss up a ball and hit it. Either way, it's very humbling for your players. You can take your best three, four, five hole hitter at no matter what level you're at and tell them just to toss up a ball and hit it directly to somebody on the ground. And you'll see more times than not, they can't do it consistently. So what we teach here is obviously bat barrel control, um, they're working on their swing. The ball is just sitting on a tee. They're not trying to kill it. You know, we talk about working hard on your swing. Don't be working hard to swing hard. Um, so th th there's, you know, for us, um, we keep it simple. Um, the guy, just like if you were fungoing uh, during batting practice, the guy on the first base side is hitting to the third baseman and to the second baseman. The guy on the third base side is hitting to shortstop and first baseman. The first part of this, the first variation is we got pitchers um, behind every guy. Uh, that way they can work on fielding, they can work uh, their feet, and they don't have to worry about throwing. Here we go. It's a good example right there to start off with. Short stops 20 feet over here, and he hits one on the right side of me here. So it takes them a while to get used to it. Again, same thing's happening out here down the uh, left field line. Uh, we got some of our infielders that are hitting to the outfielders so the outfielders can work on ground balls. We work three times as hard on our outfielders trying to field ground balls than we do worrying about running around catching balls considering the percentage of balls they get are on the ground anyways. At the junior college level, your, your uh, fields all, always aren't the best. Uh, we really don't play on any other turf infields, so we really have to work on our, our guys, you know, making sure that they don't just sit back on balls, that they really move their feet, that they work on trying to get to balls. Um, and then same with our outfielders. The outfields we play on are, are not the best outfields and neither is ours as a matter of fact so they got to really become infielders playing an outfield position so we really try to hit them a lot of ground balls.